Hello friends, we are in level 1 class 19 in Abacus. Here we are going to see what is combination formulas. Second, when to apply combination formulas, okay? Already we have seen for adding or subtracting any numbers from 1 to 4, that is 1, 2, 3 or 4. First check direct addition or subtraction is possible, okay? If it's not possible to make direct addition or subtraction, second we should check small friend concept. If small friend is also not possible, then we can check the help of big friend, okay? That condition is for adding or subtracting the numbers from 1 to 4, okay? Up to 4 is completed. Next coming to number 5. 5 is having only big friend concept. That is, when enough beats are not available to add 5 or subtract 5, then directly we can apply big friend concept. That is, 5's big friend is 5, okay? Next coming to number 6. To add any numbers or subtract any numbers from 6 to 9, that is 6, 7, 8, 9. When we don't have enough beats in a row, first check big friend concept. We have seen already in previous sessions, right? If we are not able to apply big friend, then we can take the help of combination formulas, okay? First, I explain you what is combination formulas, right? Let's consider this formula here by hiding this number 1 plus 10 minus 5 equal to 5 which is a big friend formula for adding 5 right hence big friend formula exists here next by hiding this number 10 minus 5 plus 1 equal to minus 4 which is the small friend formula for subtracting 4 minus 4 equal to minus 5 plus 1 hence small friend formula is also available here combining big friend and small friend formula is nothing but combination of big friend and small friend okay Hence, we have completed what is combination formulas and when to apply combination formulas, okay? Third one, we'll see how to apply combination formulas. Only four numbers are having combination formulas, okay? 6, 7, 8, 9. First, we'll see plus 6 formula. If combination plus means move the beats in up direction. Move 10 and 5 upward direction by default in all the formulas. That is 10 upward, 5 upward. If it is 6, 5 plus 1 equal to 6, right? So, move that one bead in upward direction. Or else you can check this way. That is 10 upward means move 10 beads towards the answer point. It means plus 10. And 5 upward means remove 5 beads from the answer point. It means minus 5. And 1 upward means move 1 beads towards the answer point. It means plus 1. So, you can apply either of these two ways, okay? Next, this is the formula for removing 6. Combination minus means move the beads in downward direction. That is 10 downward minus 6 equal to minus 5 minus 1, right? So, 5 downward, 1 downward. 10 beads take away from the answer point. It means minus 10. 5 downward means move 5 beads towards the answer point and touch the answer point. It means plus 5. And 1 bits removed from the answer point. It means minus 1. Generally, combination plus means move the bits in up direction. Combination minus means move in downward direction. Next number is 7. Move 10 and 5 by default. 10 upward, 5 upward. 5 plus 2 equal to 7, right? So, move 2 bits in up direction. 10 up means plus 10. 5 up means minus 5. 2 up means plus 2, okay? Next, this is the formula for removing 7. Minus 7 equal to 10 downward, 5 downward, 5 plus 2 equal to 7. So, the 2 bits downward direction. 10 downward means removing 10, minus 10. 5 downward means 5 bits touch the answer point. It means plus 5. 2 downward means minus 2, okay? This is the combination formula for adding 8. 10 upward, 5 upward. 8 means 5 plus 3 equal to 8, right? So, move 3 bits in up direction. Or else you can use like this. 10 upward means plus 10, 5 upward means minus 5, 3 upward means move 3 bits towards the answer point, it means plus 3. This is the formula for subtracting 8, 10 downward, 5 downward, 8 means 5 plus 3 equal to 8, right? So, move the 3 bits in downward direction, 10 downward means removing 10 bits from the answer point, means minus 10, 5 downward means plus 5, 3 downward means Move 3 bits take away from the answer point. So, minus 3, okay? Last one is, this is the combination formula for adding 9. Plus 9 equal to 10 up, 5 up. 5 plus 4 equal to 9, right? So, move that 4 bits in up direction. 10 upward means plus 10. 5 upward means remove 5 bits from the answer point. So, minus 5, 4 upward direction. So, 
move four bits towards the answer point and touch the answer point. It means plus four. This is the combination formula for subtracting nine. Ten downward, five downward, five plus four equal to nine. So move four bits in downward direction. Ten downward means minus ten. Five downward means plus five. Four downwards means minus four. Okay. These are the combination formula for adding or subtracting any numbers from six to nine. Right. Next video, I'll explain you how to solve addition and subtraction problems using combination formulas. Okay. Thank you, friends.